Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, first of all, I'd like to apologise for my voice in this voiceover today. I am absolutely full of a cold. And I may have to stop to cough and sneeze a few times, but I will we'll try and get through it the best I can. So, I'm doing a redesign today on myself. I uh, removed all my previous design using my bell bit. Took it down to the clear layer, removed any bits of lifting that there was on there, which there wasn't a lot. Um, and now I'm coming in with the new design. So I've decided today, because I've got a cold and it's cold weather, I was going to go for like a, a wintry set. So this first colour I've put on the nail bed here is a colour that I mixed myself. And I pretty much threw everything in that pot. There's Fantasy... Slush Fairy, um, Silver Hollow, Angel Wings, um, and a lot of other things that I can't think of at the minute. But um, yeah, I did throw just about everything in there, give it a good shake up, and this is what I ended up with. So down the tip, I'm just doing like a loose marble using Electric Blue, Periwinkle, and Blue Frozen. And then I'll just add in a few bits of white here and there just to uh, loosen it up a little bit this glitter I'm using here <clears throat> excuse me is um, white wizard from Tracy Lou's website which is a nice like white and blue glitter so I add that across the join and slightly down the one side and then at the tip I apply some Sonia Williams glitter called First Frost. Once I've got the glitter where I want it, I then pick up, I got this out of the Christmas box, CJP Christmas box, and it's like holographic hexagons. I don't know the name of it, there's no name on there. Um, but it's really holographic and I've just dotted just a few of them across that Tracy Lou glitter. And then I put a small bead of crystal glass on the nail bed and apply one of these snowflakes. Now I did get snowflakes in the Christmas box from CJP, some gold ones. But I decided today because I'd used a lot, there was a lot of silver in the glitters I was using. And there was a lot of silver in the, in the um, cover pink powder. Um, I thought I'd use the silver ones. I bought these silver snowflakes from Amazon. So on this pointer finger, I'm just covering the nail bed again with that, that uh, pink powder that I mixed myself. And then I'm just putting um, periwinkle on the tip and just blending that down. I then use some of the Sonia Williams glitter, glitter sorry, <clears throat> just to put a swoosh across the nail. And some of those holographic little hexagons as well. On the middle finger, I'm going to be doing a glitter ombre using the two glitters. Um, so I'm using White Wizard on the tip, just picking it up with a, a bead of crystal glass and nudging it around till I get the coverage that I like. And then I allow that to set for a few minutes before I come back with the Sonia Williams glitter to ombre it down. So on the ring finger, again, with that pink powder that I mix myself, just covering the nail bed. And just blending it down into the tip. And 
and I blend it down more to the one side and then I start using the three blues again just to make <clears throat> an, um, a loose marble across the tip. So again in with the glitters, I'm using the Sonia Williams glitters to go across and then a little dab of crystal glass and I place one of those snowflakes onto the nail bed. So as I said, I use now the Sonny Williams glitters to, in the cuticle area, getting it to the right sort of consistency that I want in the cuticle area. And then I pick up a small bead of crystal glass and I dip into both glitters and I mix them in the middle to create the blend. So the baby finger is just going to be a full marble nail. So the first bead I come in is, I think that's electric blue and periwinkle just to do the um, cuticle area. And then I use all the, all the colours, all the blues and a little bit of white as well. And I'm just doing it so I'm swiping it down the nail <clears throat> and start in sort of a loose marble. And then I apply some of the Sonia Williams glitter and some of the TJP hollow hexagon glitter where I think I need it, just to diffuse that marble a little bit. So coming back to this pointer finger, <coughs> excuse me, I um, decided to add another snowflake and I also thought the blue was a little bit too transparent so I'll just add a little bit more of that periwinkle on the tip, trying not to get it into my glitters. <coughs> So I'm only going to show you capping this one now as you've all seen me do it before and I don't want my videos to become too samey so sometimes I'll leave it in sometimes I won't so on this occasion I just thought I'd show you this one and then I file and buff off camera. So I filed <coughs> and buffed and washed my hands in soap and water. I'm just cleansing over now with some wipe-off solution to make sure there's no dust, oil or anything on the nail before I top coat. So I apply one thin layer of top coat to all the nails. Then put in my lamp and cure for 90 seconds. 
and then that will be the set complete so again apologies for the voice over this this on this video i'm not feeling very well at all i am full of a cold i've been laid up in bed for the last couple of days so um i decided today i was going to get up do my nails and see if they'd make me feel better because having your nails done always makes you feel better doesn't it so i've left a little video and some pictures at the end um, thanks very much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would. Um, leave me uh, a comment on what you thought on the set and if there's anything you would like to see me do or anything you, you think I might want to see. Um, just let me know in the comments and I will speak to you in the next one. Bye bye.